what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, it's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Keep on doing our thing, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe these uh, videos up. Fans, y'all go to appreciate for y'all staying on and watching these videos, man. Come to the Black Hebrew is like, man. Your boy been trying to get this breakout. Hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. Hey, this is gonna be some good videos today, man. Make sure y'all enjoy it. And let's get to this thing. We're trying to go crazy. All right. Boom. Today, come up again. Day, straight hood down side crib, man. So we're gonna talk about um, E. Mon Shumpert and his girl Tiana Taylor. Hey, man. Say, man. This relationship right here, man, kind of caught me by surprise, man. You know what I'm saying? Now we've been getting to this situation, man. Iman Shumper, man, he, I think they've been together for like seven years. You know what I'm saying? So that what, what that means is that Iman Shumpert, he did, he spent most, he got with her at the end of his career. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of his basketball career, towards the end, he got with her and settled down and had a couple of kids. Now, Tiana Taylor, and Iman Shumper, man, they both is guilty for of this situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Tiana Taylor, man, you know, I heard that she was going out with another basketball player, Brandon Jennings. Before she went out with Iman Shumper, she made that nigga wait two years. The fuck is we doing? You know what I'm saying? For him to get married, so for him to marry her, and for her, but for but it was to get engaged, for her to give him some coochie, that is wild. And at the end of that shit, she found out with, that she was messing, he, he was messing with her best friend. Crazy. So she got together with um, Iman Shumper. See, y'all was seeing this video about what's going on, man. So a lot of this shit was tough from the beginning. Like, no cap. You know what I'm saying? Iman Shumper, you know, when you're an NBA player, man, you got all the females yelling at your name. You won a top-tier basketball. You won your championship ring. You know, did your, your big boy team out here. You know what I'm saying? All these, you know what I'm saying? It be like that. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, you feel me? It just, a lot of shit in this relationship, man, made them not want to, um, Stay together at the end, man. So, we got the videos, man. Make sure y'all like subscribe these videos up, man. Kevin, to turn out here for the one time, one time. Let's get into it. We were both on tour together. Mm -hmm. And um, I was doing everything. The promotion. I had... I do my own promo videos. Like, I just took it very serious, and I was very, very excited about it. Mm. And he did little to none, like, to any promo mm -hmm. so it was just like when we got there and, and and the concerts were sold out and different things like that it was like when we got there everything was like jeremiah this his name was on everything like my name wasn't even on a ticket wow. and i'm like yeah so the whole line like we have footage and everything the whole line is like tiana it's like we here for tiana taylor da -da. but what i was trying to explain to him is that's natural because i'm the only person that's promoting it got it and he was like, well, I got it to where I don't got to go on Instagram to promote. Well, then, baby, it ain't going to be sold out. Right, because right. social media is everything. You have yeah. to. It's a working, different new day and age. That's what I'm saying. I'm working my behind off. So it was just mm -hmm. like, then, you know, you call me your opener during one of the shows. 
And it's just like, but then go on radio and say, but I got love for her. You know, it was all love mm. and try to make it seem like you're taking the high road. And it's like, no, because if you had love for me, you would have never tried to play me live. <laughs> but the reason why there's no footage of it is because 80% of the room left after my performance. So it probably was only like 20 people left. So nobody really captured the shade when he did it. <laughs> so you just decided to go on your own. That's why. Yeah. And, and oh, yeah, so very successful on yeah. your own. Yeah, when he said it, when, when he said what he said, that's when I kind of, you know, pressed him about it over text. Mm -hmm. This is when we was in Toronto. Right, so yeah. he was like, um, he kind of admitted that he did say, and I was like, you know what? This tour is done. He said, well, let's just let it be done then. But my thing is like, if I'm just the opener. I shouldn't have the power to say this tour is done. Yeah. So you already knew what I brought to the table regardless. So it was like, don't try to play me. I've never seen nothing in basketball be good unless I went through this. That's yeah. life. <laughs> it's like no commitment that we have in life is good the whole we time. Yeah. No, you're mm -hmm. going to get a dump. They're going to dump shit on you. Mm -hmm. Can you now stand in front of everybody with doo-doo on you and be like, yep, we finna try again. Mm -hmm. I'm finna do it again. You know what yeah, I'm let saying? me wipe this shit off. I got another idea. Oh, bro, like, I'm definitely finna take a bath, 100%. I'm going to get it from in between my neck. Like, we got to get the shit off us. But... You got to continue to march. And it's like, I feel like we, that's the only way. Like, you got to just give yourself grace and knowing, like, I, I got room, I got to grow. She got room, she got to grow. It's time that we might not be on the same, but it's like, as long as we got the same mission, then we locked in. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Dope. What's that shit? If you locked in, ain't no switching up. Oh, bro, no, it got to feel like that, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like your other side will slide on you, you'll be sick. Tayana Taylor just spoke out about the cheating allegations surrounding her husband. And you are not going to believe what was going on in their marriage behind the scenes. Allegedly, that was Iman Shepard, Tayana Taylor's husband, with his, his little side piece. And that was him and a group of women. This lady wearing his chain. In the midst of cheating allegations and videos of Tayana Taylor's husband, Iman Shumpert's videos with other women going viral, Tayana has finally decided to address the situation. From an open marriage to Iman telling Tayana he wanted to sleep with other women, the situation keeps getting crazier and crazier. Did Iman really cheat on Tayana? And is Tayana ever going to give Iman another chance? Let's find out. I think that is like a thing where it's like every day we just take him down. Like that's, that's not that. Tayana Taylor and Iman Shumpert always looked incredibly cute together, and fans always thought the two were the perfect couple. Everything looked perfect except for Iman's cheating allegations. Ever since the start of their marriage, allegations that Iman was cheating on Tayana kept dropping left and right. Things got so bad, in fact, that people actually started thinking that maybe Tayana and Iman had an open marriage, and that's why he was always hanging around other women. Coincidentally, soon after the rumor of an open marriage dropped, Tayana actually came forward herself and confirmed that her marriage with Iman really was an open marriage, and the two would regularly have threesomes with other women. Even just when everybody heard that, like, me and my husband had threesomes before, it was yeah. like, oh, she's willing to do that to keep a man? I'm like, no. That, that you, was on me. Tiana said in an interview, I'm not saying it's what you have to do. I'm saying when you make a vow and when you're married, it ain't no limits, period. It ain't no what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. Why do we get married? Now, how are we going to get married and then have limits? Some fans thought that it was weird for Tayana to suddenly announce that the two were in an open marriage and wondered why Tayana had never spoken about it before. A couple of people even thought that it was all just damage control by Tayana, and that she was trying to solve Iman's cheating issues by trying to transition into an open marriage. One fan commented saying some women accept an open relationship in fear of embarrassment, especially if they've been cheated on before. It's sad but true. And some women want to be the last man standing when the smoke clears, jeopardizing their integrity and respect for self just to say, I won because he's still here with me and he always come back. Soon after Tayana announced this, another rumor, this time claiming that Iman had accidentally gotten an adult performer pregnant while in a threesome with Tayana, came forward. Right around the time this rumor dropped, Tayana deactivated both her Instagram and Twitter, which led even more fans to believe that the rumor was true. A few days later, however, Tayana reactivated her Twitter, and after a fan directly asked Tayana if the rumor was true, Tayana replied saying, 1. I've never seen touch that girl in my life. 
too. My page is gone because I'm upset at Diff Jam for not dropping my damn WTP video on time per usual. 3. It's really sad that lies are entertained so much than the truth. 4. Iman is not dumb, he know I'd kill him, end of story. Following Tayana's announcement, the adult performer who Iman had allegedly gotten pregnant decided to speak out too and posted a story on her Instagram that said, I had my baby with the man I was dating and that man ain't Iman. So please stop making fake stories just to get some likes. And for everyone else believing these blogs is a no better person. Both Tayana and the adult performer put the rumors to rest, but Iman, as it turns out, had other plans because soon after he was involved in another cheating rumor, and this time the rumors also included Tayana. A viral TikTok video claimed that an unnamed performer whose husband was on Dancing with the Stars had been cheated on again. The video also mentioned that the performer had also passed out in the bathroom after a cocaine overdose and had to cancel their performance as a result. It didn't take a genius to piece together that the TikToker was talking about Tayana Taylor since the video had been posted just a few days after Tayana Taylor had canceled her performance citing health reasons and her husband has a history of cheating. Tayana took to Instagram to address both the cheating and drug abuse rumors and posted in a now deleted post saying hey welcome back to this pic from November 28th. Let me guess. The YT lady from TikTok sent y'all nosy asses here Feb 22, huh? Laud, y'all messy ass bloggers are worse than the National Enquirer. The singer penned. The person who sent in this cap ass TikTok story is a fool. The person who enacted this cap ass story is a fool. She better have her court coin ready. But the people who believed the cap ass story are the biggest fools, SMH. Tayana continued and said, Nobody and I mean absolutely nobody can make Petunia overdose on a damn thing, she added. I'd kill at Emin Shumpert fine ass, put him in a nice suit and bury him my damn self before I ever let him or anybody to push me to do drugs or take myself out. In an interview with Ebony, Tayana once again brought up the rumors and talked about how hurtful the lies about both her marriage and her alleged drug abuse were. My health issues were never a secret. We actually outwardly shared them with the world on our reality TV show We Got Love. So for someone to take that and make it a joke is extremely hurtful. It makes me emotional thinking about it. Tayana also mentioned how she planned to take legal action against the TikToker and added, People have to start understanding that this is not okay. Their malicious actions and recklessness need to heed some sort of repercussions. This time, even Iman spoke out about the situation and said, If she did coke, why would I be cool with that? Why would I not care about my kids enough to say, Yo, you can't be around my kids. It's disrespectful in so many ways that people don't think through. Just the way it was broken down, I'm like, bro, I cannot believe this is real. We're waking up to this. We're really having a conversation about a TikTok? I don't know where people get off. I live a real life and that's really my wife. These really are our kids. We really love each other and we're really going to go hard. Iman sounds really motivated here, right? Well, as it turns out, so were the people spreading the rumors. Another cheating allegation just came out and this time people have proof. A video showing a woman wearing Iman's chain with Iman speaking in the background recently went viral. Following the video going viral, people were bashing Iman and his alleged side girl all over the internet. Everyone was waiting for Tayana to come out and once again talk about how everything was okay. And these were all just lies. This time, however, something completely unexpected happened. Tayana announced that she and Iman had separated, and Iman wasn't cheating on her since the two weren't together anymore. Tayana posted on her Instagram saying, Eh dat, not too much on my bestie. In all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be 1000% clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. Most importantly, we are family, and in the 10 years together, 7 years married, we ain't ever played with or about that. We just keep y'all asses out the group chat lol, which is the reason we've been able to successfully and peacefully separate without all of the outside noise. The only reason I'm even sharing this part of the chat is because the narratives are getting a little out of hand, and it's unfair to all parties involved. I hope this provided some clarity for y'all. Okay, Auntie, taking y'all back out the chat by. Following the announcement, fans could not stop talking about why Iman and Tayana separated. Everyone thought it was because of all the cheating rumors and that Tayana had finally had enough. Ladies, the minute you let someone else in your bedroom, you can say goodbye to your marriage. Open marriage never works, no matter what they tell you. If you have to have an open marriage, you need a divorce. God bless. What do you think? Did Tayana really break up with Iman because he was cheating on her? Are they ever going to go back together? Or is this the end of their relationship? I bet. So, bruh. <laughs> 
Hey, that hey, that ain't okay. That female was funny as fuck. I ain't gonna cap. She was, that's what I be saying, bro. These motherfuckers be really knowing everything of everything that's be going on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas like we on like I don't really be knowing all everything that's be going on half the time in these relationships. They they know everything to the the, the the teardrop, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, so what they what she was saying, bro? They both was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I always said that if you would leave me, I mean, if you would leave your boy for for me, you gotta always think in the back of your mind that she would leave you for somebody else if it came down to it. You know what I'm saying? Now, Emo Shumper, man, like I said, man, Emo Shumper, man, he living his life, man. You feel me? He, you know, in them times, you know, he he played with LeBron, all them type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when she would just be around LeBron and, some, and like, playing basketball and shit, everybody gonna know you. You know what I'm saying? And when people know you, man, it's, like, it's hard not to, like, for me, because it's, like, like in some of the shit, man, Emo Shumper went on, like, parties with females, like, eight females or some shit. <laughs> And they taking pictures and shit, man. You did. And uh, Tiana Trump, man, you know, she have issues. You know what I'm saying? Personal issues, man, that would not give her the best judgment or best, you need like, how to go at the situation. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, they've been together for seven years, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, man, they just gave it up. On that, on that relationship, man, sometimes it be like that, you know what I'm saying? You go through it, you go through thick and thin, people be telling you, your close people be telling you to stay, stay together for however long. You know, they did a TV, a reality TV show and shit together. And, you know, it just, you know, like I said, man, sometimes relationships, it, it, it helps out the situation monetarily, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And half the time, man, you know, after you get past all the shit and you get to really know the person, you know, you 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 really to make it work. But it'd be like for how long? You know, you need man, seven years is a long ass time, you know what I'm saying? For people who's like, oh you don't got the voice out the little seven years is a long ass time to be married to somebody or in a relationship to have kids with somebody. You did. And you know, it'd be like, you know, like I said, man, when you got clout and money and shit, man, you know, it's kinda hard. Not trying to um, hard. It's kind of hard trying to stay, like you know what I'm saying, in a in a in a, in a single relationship. You did, and it's hard. You feel me? And so you know, I feel like they both were messing up during that time. You did. It's just like when when you can get it so easily, man. It that be that be the hardest. That be the hardest hardest times. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm pretty sure you feel me. They was they was gonna let this shit like ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my son probably beating them guts up. You know what I'm saying? And they were gonna let that shit ride. You know what I'm saying? And you know, at the minute, man, you know, people start finding out like everything and who you talking to and how how you moving around and y'all supposed to be in a relationship and then you know, and she was like, and I've been laughing about say that shit. You can do whatever you want. Don't make it look, don't make it look, look like a fool out of me, bruh. Everybody know the nigga. So if you got go go anywhere and talk to a female, a bunch of baddies, bunch of females, and it's like you know if he don't get, they gonna take pictures. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're on a whole reality TV show. You feel me? You know the reality TV show, man. It just they it boosts your name and that relationship to to where it's like. And child, it, it child show that it can't be broken the relationship, and they only they only last in that in that reality, reality TV show for one year, bro. I heard they did good ass ratings, man. You know, but then then, then it'd be like, man, he don't be he he, he not he not playing basketball ball no more, man. And you know, basketball take a lot of your time and and um just shit like that away, so you don't really notice a lot of shit. Then when you when you fall back and you get time to really just re chill and relax, you really start seeing more about yourself and more about the person and shit. And you be like, eh. it was fun when we were playing basketball and I was always out going getting lit and coming back home to and doing that. You know what I'm saying? But then like 
Niggas be wanting to go out. Go have fun and chill, you dig? And the female, you know, sometimes they be how to stay with the kids and shit. So they be like, damn, he having fun. And whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying? So she started doing what she going to do on her own. Then like, oh, so okay, you going to do that? All right, that's a bit. Then, you know, they just stop talking and whoop, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then it's almost to a point like you can't even stand a motherfucker. You know, y'all in the same crib can't stand each other and shit. So it's like. You know, at, at a moment, I feel like they were probably heading to that divorce, man. You know, when once you got almost all the shit you can get out there, like out the relationship, man. You know, it only can last for so damn long. You know what I'm saying? And in my shoulder, man, you know, <laughs> that nigga wanted to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And hey, these hoes going dummy. You know what I'm saying? So that sometimes it just be like that, bro. And you just take it how you take it. You mean? Know? It's like, hey, oh, you don't fuck with me because that? All right, bitch, boop. Get it started all over. Boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, some people try to stick together with and try to make it work like he did. But like I said, you just got to whoop, whoop and, and take it out the way. And so, you know, that's why they divorced, man. And, hey, let's hope they don't have to, he don't have to pay no child support or nothing, man. He just, just leave his relationship clean and just do what he do, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to your videos up, man. Tip two turn out to for the one time, one time. Hey Dad, you know what I want. We link up, dog. This shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere. Hey Dad, you know what I want. We link up, dog. This shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere.